Hello, today we are talking about the Decent Sampler plugin. Now it's a free sampling plugin that allows you to play samples within the Decent Sampler format. Now this is a great resource, especially for those starting out, um, but great for those progressing along the way, even to the professionals. Me as a professional, I use this sampler uh, for professional works because there really are some great gems out there and I do a whole series of those called Free Sampler of the Week. So if you want to know any specific instruments that I like that work within the Decent Sampler, you can go check out those videos. But this one we are specifically talking about the sample engine itself and why it's so amazing and revolutionary. Now it was created by a gentleman named David Hillowitz. You can follow him. I'll leave a link in the description for all his stuff. But I absolutely love this guy's work. He is the one who taught me how to create sampled instruments using contact. I watched his whole series. I think it's right down there actually. And I followed him ever since. Great guy, great content. He is a fellow composer who works with the in the industry and especially with regards to sampling instruments, he is the one you want to go see. Uh, so he's got plenty of videos on that. As I said, link is in the description. But back over to the sampler itself. As I said, it works within all the different platforms you could be currently on, but really simple to download. Click, type your name, last name, and email address. Don't worry, they don't spam you with emails unless you want to be. Uh, you can unselect it there. I have not had anything from him, uh, honestly great, easy to do, you're not getting spammed, right? So this is the plugin itself. We will be looking at it from a standalone point of view because you can open it up without having a DAW. Of course, you won't be able to create anything, but you can definitely check out some of the instruments on it. And I will also be showing you how to open it in Dorico, which is a notation software, or within Reaper, which is a free DAW. Before then, I think it's important that we check out where we can actually get sampled instruments for this plugin. Now, they're becoming more and more regularly available, and of course, you can get them from the website itself. There are plenty of freebies on there. You will see some paid ones as well, um, but there are plenty of ones to get started with, but you can get them as well on Piano Book. Specifically, if you go to sample packs, you can just click on the decent sampler and you can narrow it down from pianos the discord challenge drums and percussion you really do have a little bit of everything and this is constantly being updated and we're constantly receiving more and more instruments for the decent sampler just from everyday people and if you're someone out there who actually wants to get into creating samples you can for the decent sampler i will warn you it's not as easy as a software like contact uh, you do need to do quite a bit of coding, um, which can put off a lot of people like myself because I haven't had the time to look into it. But developer resources, this is where you want to go. And there is pages and pages and videos as well on how to do this. Uh, what decent sampler boilerplate code. There you have it. A lot of it is copy and paste as well. I know at one point he did create a template, which I think lots and lots of people use. And if you've used the Decent Sampler extensively, you'll know what I mean, because they all seem to look the same. They always have the same knobs. That's because of this boilerplate, I guess, or this box standard template that makes it a lot easier. But you do have to specifically code everything. And there are videos out there. And when I get round to it, I will be creating a tutorial on creating a sample library with the Decent Sampler, but more about that later. So let's now move away from the internet and actually go into the standalone product right here. As you can see, I've actually already got a folder open up at the bottom. What I like to do is have a folder with just Decent Sampler full of all my instruments, and then I will simply just drag them into the empty box and there you have it, they load. But there are, I guess, more tidier ways, better ways of doing it. You can go to browse. You actually have the sample store there as well. So you can simply click, for example, there and get, and it will automatically go into the actual instrument itself through the file browser, 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 which you can see right there. And there's plenty of instruments to choose from. And for example, if I just click on this, go Pandrum V1, this is go Pandrum Simple and there you can see it's all loaded. I can start playing. Another feature I really like, and this is probably something you should do when you initially open it, is go up here. You can probably see it, options, audio MIDI settings. Now in here, you can select your output. 
if you're someone like me who has lots of things plugged in, it might not be playing outside just outside out of your speakers immediately. You might have to select the correct format. Uh, of course, sample rate, I keep at 48. You can select your buffer to have a quicker, uh, less latency. That's the word I'm looking for. Active MIDI inputs, so you can select your MIDI inputs. I've never had any problems with anything I've used within this. Of course, there's Bluetooth MIDI as well, and then MIDI output if you want to do that. Very simple, everything's there. You can even test the audio output if you're trying to troubleshoot where the audio is going. <laughs> So that's there. And of course, there's file here. You can uh, rescan libraries. There's lots of things you probably can't quite see on my screen because it's cut it off. Um, but very simple. You can walk yourself through all that. It's very self-explanatory. But definitely get to bearings with this tool um, because it'll be well worth your while once you get into it. Now, actually opening it within maybe a different piece of software uh, that's not standalone. If we first move into Dorico, we can see we have this piece here. This is just one of the demos that comes with Dorico. And if we go from right to actually play, uh, we're going to select our flute here. We're going to go into, normally it will start on the track inspector, but go to VST and MIDI, select uh, the drop down, go to decently, which will be at the top, synth, decent sampler, and that will load the plugin. And you can go to browse file browser or just simply drag and drop pick the specific instrument you want to include let's go to this one and meter one voila and it works um, now if you want to do this within something like reaper let's move over to that and all you have to do well you can see i've already got one loaded but let's do it from scratch insert virtual instrument on a new track and then simply type in, as you can see, I already have done decently. Or just you can see there's lots there actually. If I go like that, so and you've got the AU, the VSTI, or VST3I. I'm just going to go with VSTI. And there you can see it's loaded right there. Very similar. We can browse. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. So very easy to do. How you'd normally load VSTs within whatever audio workspace you work within but i can't cannot rate this i say product this sampler enough it's revolutionary it's introduced so many more people to the world of sampling and using vsts because it is free and i just love the collaborative nature of it we live in great times where we have so much stuff available to us um, to create great music at little to nothing um, but I hope that's helped and really this video is hopefully to make people more aware of the decent sampler out there and this amazing tool that does work. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.